Apex Legends is a battle royale FPS developed by Respawn Entertainment and published by EA. It was released without any marketing campaign right after its announcement on February 5, 2019 and it took gaming world by storm. More than 25 million players tried it out and at its best it had over 2 million concurrent players which is pretty good for a game that came out of nowhere. Before we start I would like to say that this is my first battle royale game. I never played Fortnite, PUBG, very popular Culling 2 or Cliffy's B criminally underrated battle royale gem called Lawbreakers. A real shame I never got to play that one. But when I saw this game I thought, hey it's from guys that made Titanfall and it's free so why not give it a try. And that's why in today's video I wanted to take a look at Apex Legends and find out if it is worth playing for people like me that like to play games solo or are newcomers to this genre. Let me start off by saying that I think it is worth playing alone, but it is not a typical solo gameplay you would expect. Apex is built around 3 man squads and you always get paired up with 2 random people and it is pretty much a hit or miss. Sometimes you might get paired up with 2 good players that pink items, spot enemies, revive you and generally do things you are supposed to do in a team based game and sometimes you don't. People will ignore you and go their separate ways or leave in lobbies and that's when you can experience a solo solo experience and let me tell you trying to win a game without anyone's help is damn near impossible unless you're some ninja 2.0 now even though i mentioned that people might not always be so cooperative in 80 percent of my games i never had any problems with my mates community is pretty good so far and you don't have to worry about toxic kids flaming you through microphone except for a few occasions plus since you always play as a three-man squad you might even get some friends to play with at the moment there is no solo squads mode even though according to some leaks it looks like Respawn is working on one, so you just have to wait. But I think that Apex works best as a game centered around 3 man squads, it separates it from other battle royales on the market. But I do understand that some of you out there would like to have this option. As we all know, making 3 random people cooperate between each other is not an easy task. But thankfully, Apex Legends has a very good mechanic that makes it a lot easier to communicate. A pinging system. Thanks to it you can mark items like ammo, attachments or weapons that you found for your teammates. Mark enemies that you saw, mark supply ships, crates or suggest a place where you want to go next and teammates can also respond to you by agreeing with your plans or coming up with their own with all of it appearing on your screen along with voice lines from your selected characters. That way even people that don't have or don't like using microphone can work as a team making it easier to stand against squads made of friends that communicate through voice chat. And I won a few games without saying a single word. One final issue I had as a solo player was matchmaking. You might get paired up with two beginners that are playing their first game against squads full of 30 plus level guys. Now I don't think that it is entirely possible to make each squad balanced, but they could for example implement a system that would try to keep average level of randomly created squads around the same number to make it a bit more fair. Overall playing as a solo player is a lot of fun in Apex thanks to its combination of 3 man squads, great pinging system and good community that has an occasional bad apple or two and I can only recommend it. Now let's take a deeper look at Apex gameplay while I also try to explain battle royale genre to people that never experienced it before. At its core Apex is a classic battle royale. You pick a location to jump in, try to find as many good weapons as possible, find some armor, attachments, grenades, medkits and prepare yourself for future conflict with last squad standing taking victory. But there are a few things that make Apex unique. At the beginning, you pick a character to play as. Each one of them has unique abilities that can help them in combat. For example, Bloodhound can scout enemies and show their last known location, Lifeline can use a drone to heal herself and other teammates, or my favorite, Bangalore, with her ability to sprint faster when shot at, and Smoke Launcher for an easy escape. There are 8 legends to choose from, and each one is suited for a different playstyle. Red is good for players that prefer aggression, Bloodhound for careful advance and then you have Caustic, also known as the 101 picks. Only way you can win with Caustic is if enemies stop playing out of pity they feel for you for choosing such a useless character. Anyway, choosing your hero is important since if you have a combination of characters that play well with each other, you have higher chance of winning. In classic battle royale, you only live once. In Apex, your squad mates can either heal you if you are knocked down or if you bleed out, they can take your banner and revive you at the nearest respawn beacon. But it is not that easy. You respawn without equipment, so unless your mates have some weapons for you, or there are some laying around, 
you're gonna go back to Apex Heaven very quickly. Plus, your respawn dropship can be seen by anyone and thanks to that, they now know where you and your squad are. This is yet another great mechanic with a good risk and reward system that allows you to stay in a fight even if you make some mistakes. For example, if you get ambushed from behind and have no time to react, you can still quickly ping your squad mates about enemy location and if they manage to win, you can return to battle and get another chance. This once again makes team play important and it discourages players from leaving you and going solo. It is clear that this game was made by veterans of the industry with its responsive controls and interesting style of gunplay. It uses an FPS style where bullets travel actual distance, so even if you aim at your enemies and feel like you are shooting at them, if they move around fast enough, your bullets won't hit, since by the time they travel distance between you and him, he can already be in a different spot. For example, Fortnite uses hit scan technique, where your shots hit enemies instantly. This takes some time to get used to, unless you're a pro just like me. So don't nice. worry if you feel like you can't hit anything at the start. Another thing I enjoyed is that there is no fall damage. Now unless you are in an enclosed space, you can no longer be cornered easily and you can use surroundings to your advantage, to create ambushes or quickly escape a dangerous situation. And most importantly, you can slide down hills, 10 out of 10. Weapons are another huge part of any FPS game. You can use shotguns, snipers, assault rifles, LMGs or pistols with a few different pieces in each category. Most of them are balanced, there are no clear wing guns, every one of them has its advantages and disadvantages. Except for Mozambique. Don't ever pick that one up, you are better off spitting at enemies rather than using it. If you see it out in the wild, don't even look at it or it's gonna curse you. But other than that one specimen, all the other weapons are pretty good. Respawn also deserves praise for creating an easy to use interface. If you manage to find an attachment for your gun, it is automatically applied to it and if you find a better one, it is replaced for you as well. If you however want to keep an old attachment you found, you can pick it up with X. In inventory, you can then equip it by clicking on it with left mouse button. If you have something that you can't use on any of your current guns, you can see a red circle next to it. Gone are the days where you had to pick everything up, go to your inventory, move it over and try to apply it to weapons, only to find out that it is not even compatible with anything you have. Ammunition, medkits and shield charges also have very nice and clean icons, so you won't mistake them for anything. Respawn took their time with this game and it shows. All the things people disliked about other battle royales are gone, no bad interface, lack of communication for players without mics, unfair weapon balance or fall damage. This is how a AAA battle royale game should look and every company out there that wants to make one should take a few tips from these developers. Of course, not everything is perfect. Apex definitely needs a better tutorial, because right now it only teaches you how to move, shoot, ping, use special abilities and respawn people. I would love to see a separate shooting range, where you could check out all the weapons and their damage, to see which one suits your playstyle, instead of testing them out in the field and hindering your teammates. It would be nice if you could roam around the map freely and check out its layout and find out which zones offer better loot so that you could know where to jump as the jump master, or a way to test out all special abilities. In tutorial you can only check out lifeline and knowing how other specialties work can be crucial in battle. Such an extended tutorial may not be needed in a game like Fortnite where you can play solo and learn everything at your own pace, but Apex is a team game and your lack of knowledge can be fatal for your squad. Another huge problem are crashes. They are quite frequent, every 4 or 5 games I experienced one and this is something unacceptable in this type of game, especially if you're one of few squads left and are close to victory. What's worse is that you can't even join back into the match, even if you manage to restart your game, you're always booted to the main menu, so I hope Respawn can fix that very soon. While the weapon balance is good, some heroes are a lot stronger than others. Like I mentioned before, Caustic or Gibraltar are barely used, since they are defense heroes, in a game that rewards aggression, while not having a great main in your team is a goddamn miracle, so some buffs to those boys would be appreciated. Game is also lacking in content, at the moment there are only 8 heroes, with 2 of them hidden behind a pretty big grind wall, it will take you at least 12 hours to unlock one of them. There is only one map and mode available as well, and if Apex wants to keep its large audience, it needs to step up its content game. A new map, legends and weapons will hopefully come soon. There is also no sense of progression here, you can customize your heroes and weapons with skins, but those are hard to come by. And that also takes me to its microtransaction system, that is a bit overpriced. I understand that it is a free to play game and they need to pay for its development, servers and maintenance, but paying $10 for a weapon skin that is not even that pretty 
is a bit too much for me. But these are just minor complaints when compared to everything Apex does well. It's a fresh take on a stale battle royale genre and a worthy competitor to Fortnite and PUBG with its great systems, gameplay and accessibility for new players. I never understood the appeal of battle royale games and thought they were boring. But Apex Legends has proved that even a genre that you may not like at first glance can be enjoyed, if done correctly. And yeah guys, I guess that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry if I sound a bit weird in this video, but uh, I was sick recently and I couldn't wait any longer to record this video or else it would be delayed by maybe two or three weeks. So I tried to push through it and I hope I didn't sound way too weird and I hope you could still understand me. Anyway, currently I'm working on around three videos and none of them are on Fallout, but still I hope I can entertain you with those as well. And at the end I would also like to thank all the people that supported me on Patreon. Even if you are a former pledger, it is still very appreciated. And if you ever feel like you need to delete your pledge, don't worry about it, uh, it is totally okay. And if you don't have any leftover finances to support me, it is totally okay to just watch this video, maybe give it a like if you enjoyed it and you know, maybe spread the word about my channel if you have any means to do so. And yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, don't leave what you think about it in the comments, subscribe for more Fallout and other games content and I will see you next time.